And we were the first to alert you about the undisclosed police body cam footage just after 10 a.m. today. And as soon as we learned about it, we immediately started to dig. This is the timeline the city of Uvalde has given us. In June 2022, the Uvalde Police Department gave its video footage and records to the Texas Rangers, who provided the documents to District Attorney Christina Mitchell. August 10th, Saturday, the city of Uvalde releases a trove of documents to news organizations like ours in compliance with a court order. On Monday, an officer alerts Chief Homer Delgado he believes some of his body cam footage was missing. Now that very same day, Chief Delgado ordered an immediate audit of all UPD servers and an internal investigation, which led to several more videos being discovered. And just yesterday, the department handed that additional footage over to the district attorney for review. Meantime, UPD's audit and internal investigation continues. The 19 students killed at Robb Elementary were supposed to start the seventh grade this week. More than two years later, their families say justice has not been served. Two officers have been indicted out of nearly 400 officers who responded to the shooting. That includes Pete Arredondo, who was the Uvalde CISD police chief, and former Uvalde CISD officer Adrian Gonzalez. The News 4 I team's Jordan Elder is investigating how this happened and what could come next. She's been digging for answers all day, and she's identified some of the footage that may be missing. Get in there if you're going to get in. 12 body cam clips right from five officers. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? And now we're hearing there's more. Hey, Juan, watch that window to your left. This ain't no shocker, George. This is, uh, I hate to say par for the course, but it is something that I have seen for the past 30 years. Attorney Tim Maloney says he sees this happen a lot with law enforcement investigations, but in a case this highly criticized. And how can you now have faith in a system that took two years to give you basic information and now lo and behold new evidence comes out does this open up the possibility that there could potentially be other evidence missing absolutely i mean that's the whole how, how are you going to know we had questions about this as we looked through footage and documents from the city of uvalde you see in these text messages between officers seven are listed as having body cameras or patrol video that day Staff Sergeant Eddie Canales writes, quote, the others either did not have it on or did not have time to grab one. We don't have any footage from Officer Jesus Mendoza or Officer Joe Zamora. It's unclear if their footage is among what was turned over to Uvalde DA Christina Mitchell this week. We sent several questions to her office about this situation. We wanted to know if this is the first time she's seeing these videos, who will be reviewing them, and what she initially asked the department for in the investigation, plus how her team can assure that nothing else is missing. Maloney says all of these answers could have big impacts. All of a sudden, the new information becomes part of a criminal investigation ask that you guys and the citizens are prevented from getting it and it sits there in a box for God knows how long. The big takeaway here is that depending on what that body camera video shows, attorneys say the criminal investigation could be reopened and that grand jury could be called back. We have a lot of questions still out to Uvalde leaders about what was discovered today and we'll continue to keep you updated. For the News 4i team, I'm Jordan Elder. The police department is still working on its investigation into how exactly this happened and if there needs to be changed to their internal procedures. We reached out to our attorneys involved in the lawsuit asking whether they learned about the additional body cam footage. We received a statement from Associate Reed Pillifont, who works directly with our attorney. He said, quote, the city of Uvalde informed Haynes Boone on Tuesday night that it had discovered additional video footage related to the Robb Elementary School shooting. He then said, we appreciate the police department's quick response in conducting an audit to ensure all relevant materials are shared with the public as soon as possible. Our team continues to work tirelessly to fight for transparency. In fact, we spoke with State Senator Roland Gutierrez, who represents Uvalde. He's been critical of the handling of the Robb Elementary investigation. And earlier this afternoon, we caught up with the senator and he says he found out about the latest development as a result of our reporting and he says it's just another example of how this hasn't been adequately handled. This whole drip drip of information that we've received in the last two and a half years has just been really pathetic because they've strung out not just the media, but they've strung out these families most importantly. And all they've asked for is transparency, to try to get to accountability, to try to get to policy change. Senator Gutierrez says the release of information has been constantly delayed because of what he called a failed state when it comes to gun safety and gun protocols.